Hey YouTube, this is James from The Last Heart Games. Today, I'm going to work on fixing this Atari 2600. I got this with a bunch of other odds and ends off of Facebook Marketplace for 40 bucks. When I turn it on, I only get a black screen. This thing is disgusting. This thing smells like someone's been burning incense on top of it. It's actually broken in a couple places as well. Let's go ahead and remove most of the screws from the bottom. We're actually going to leave the two in the center for now and remove them at a later point. There is so much dust and smoke on the inside of this. We'll unplug the video cable and pull it out from the back. Let's take out these two screws and then we can remove the top board. It looks like there's actually a little bit of corrosion on this connector. We'll set that aside for now and remove those two screws we left in the back. You can just see how much gunk is on the inside of this shell. We'll go ahead and take apart the aluminum housing. Two more screws and we can lift the main board out. And with everything taken apart, let's go ahead and give it all a good clean. We're going to start by just blowing it off with some canned air, and then we'll hit it with some isopropyl alcohol. I can't remove the housing around the pins, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a clean cartridge and just cover the pins in isopropyl alcohol. Then I'll insert it and remove it a few times, and then clean the pins off the cartridge again. What this is going to do is lift all the dirt and grime off of the connector and transfer it over to the cartridge, so when I clean the cartridge, I'm essentially cleaning the pins with it. You can actually see all the dirt and grime coming off on my Q-tip here. And with the connector clean, we'll go ahead and clean this second board.
With the electronics clean, I'm going to work on cleaning the plastic and metal housings. Most of them we're just going to soak in warm soapy water and give a good scrub. I'm not actually going to soak the bottom piece because I like this sticker and want to keep it intact. With those parts clean, I want to work on the bottom half of the shell. I just really find this support sticker kind of charming. I'm going to blow it out with some canned air, and then I'm just going to brush everything out with a clean new paintbrush. With everything brushed out, I'm just going to wipe it down with a rag and some warm soapy water. To fix the actual problem that this console's having, I'm going to replace the Riot chip. I bought this working chip off of eBay. The listing said that it was pulled from a good working Atari 2600. I'm just going to use my chip pullers and pull out the old bad chip and put in the new one. When installing these chips, you want to be sure to align the notch in the chip with the notch in the socket. And with that chip replaced, we are ready to reassemble. We'll put our mainboard back in place and reattach with two screws. Then we're going to attach the bottom of this aluminum shell back on. Be sure to leave the two screw holes in the middle clear so that way you can reattach it to the outer plastic shell. We'll put the cover back on and then reattach the aluminum housing back to the bottom shell. We'll go ahead and run and put the video cable back into place. Then we can put our second board back into place and reattach our connector. Let's not forget to put our switch covers back on. And finally, our top shell goes back on and we'll reattach it from the bottom.
And with that, we have a fixed and working Atari 2600. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing for more.